All right, folks, uh, good Friday morning. Let's get airborne. Man, I'm not used to a Friday morning. I actually have to wake up and, uh, and go to work today, man, just for a little bit because I'm going to get out of the way because clearly uh, how many of you got up this morning, uh, got your cup of coffee and turned on CNBC or Fox Business and you're getting ready to start your uh, trading day? You don't have to say you did that because I'm going to tell you you're wrong. Uh, if you didn't start your trading day with uh, a little bit of a meditation, with some yoga, uh, you're doing it wrong. Uh, if you're waking up and going straight into, hey, man, how am I going to make money today? You're doing it horrifically wrong. I'm telling you after 32 years of doing this that you're doing it wrong. So happy to be here. I'm going to get it out of the way in a couple minutes here after uh, I introduce Bart. Uh, with this little bit of a rip your face off rally that I'm selling into. Why? Because we're getting ready to see a shit ton of uh, macroeconomic data, which in my opinion are most likely going to be awful. So i uh, going to introduce my brother here, uh, James, uh, James, Bart Bartoloni, uh, standard cheesy Tomcat guy, man, you know, polo shirt under the flight suit, you know, just cheese ball completely all the way. Uh, Bart was a, a radar intercept officer in a Tomcat, uh, which is called a Rio. Just think of goose, but better looking. Uh, and he didn't die. So um, <laughs> Thomas, I don't have cable, so I don't have to watch that crap. Welcome aboard, Thomas. I know most of y'all get your news from us, which is pretty damn cool. But Bart was a uh, Tomcat Rio. Bart's my brother now. Uh, because he's also a part of our No Fallen Heroes project. Bart did the medicine back in January uh, with me and three other uh, brothers down there in Mexico. Uh, completely life-saving, life-changing uh, treatment that really looks like it's unlocked uh, the other, you know, I'd say 1% of Bart's brain, because I think before the medicine, Bart's brain was 99% open. But I think the 1% that has opened now is extremely even uh, more powerful. So uh, Bart is on board now as an instructor here uh, at, uh, at Topkin Options. He's an incredible man, great family man, beautiful bride, Kathy, four kids. Uh, and just the way he looks at everything, with uh, it's the incredible accuracy, man. It's it's kind of balls on uh, accurate. I'm, hopefully, he's going to talk about Meta, uh, to Meta, Meta, Beta, whatever. Uh, Facebook, just like I will never call it uh, Alphabet. It's Google. I will never call it Meta, Meta. I will never be in the. Isn't it great? I can sit and eat my boogers all day and live in a in a metaverse and never go outside. That's fucking brilliant. You do that. How about the universe, metaverse, or universe? Which one do you choose to live in? My God, we are really losing it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get out of the way because uh, Bart's going to take over here. I'm going to get on the end because this is stupid, what I'm about to do. My marketing team calls it an irresistible officer. As a business owner, I call it stupid. going to give you a 60% discount to hang out with Bart for 30 days. Why? Because I know you're going to stay. Kind of lose money on the front. We're going to make money on the back because you ain't going to go anywhere because Bart is brilliant. He's a great American. I'm going to get out of the way because I'm going to sit here and sell an SPX bear call spread into this pop. Bart, I'm going to turn it over to you, my brother. Wiz, awesome. Thank you. And uh, got me loud and clear? You are loud and clear, my brother. Wonderful. Uh, thank you. And um, your introductions are awesome. It's hilarious. The one thing I thought he, he would talk about is um, show my screen. You know, as soon as as soon as we start, the dogs bark. Sorry about that if you can hear. But uh, I actually thought I told Wiz yesterday as we're getting ready for this. I don't think I don't think there's ever been two Top Gun graduates who have been doing a market brief so oh that's right i forgot about that that was gonna be part right. of my intro man i forgot that never in the history of man or woman never has, <laughs> never has two to although i don't know bart you're the guy that says there's nothing new under the sun i think we might be the oh, there's a first crap, time for right. everything right <laughs> oh this is great um all right so uh you guys everybody welcome um Wiz, thanks for uh, the intro you know i appreciate it and um we're gonna get going here a lot to talk about um and so 
we're just going to start right out of the gate. May you live in interesting times. In fact, uh, one of my main mentors, Larry Pesavento, trade trade what you see, not what you think. Um, he always used to say that. He always say, "Oh, it's an ancient Chinese proverb." So I, I, I'm like, we're living in very interesting times. So I actually did some research, folks. You go look, but it is not some famous ancient Asian or, or Chinese philosopher who said that. The first known time it was said was this guy Frederick Couder in 1939. He was a politician. So if your world isn't turned upside down now, mine certainly is. May we live in interesting times. You can keep saying it's an ancient Chinese proverb, but it's actually Mr. Coder, who was a politician in the 1930s. Bam. All right. With that, we'll get on to the market. So what are we going to talk about today? We'll do a little bit of an introduction. Uh, I want to get us our mindset going. Um, this is the most important part, probably why you're here. Uh, we'll give it our best uh, you know, guess of where we are, where we're going, and how did we get here. And then uh, we're going to talk about the circle of life, right? Wiz and I were talking about it yesterday, getting ready for this. Um, yes, equities are seem to be getting battered pretty badly, but in this whole concept of the circle of life, uh, there's things that are exploding higher. So if we can just reset our mindset of where the market moves are going to be, if we're not like into the short equities mindset, obviously, um, you can make some money right now and you can make a lot of it too, okay? So we're going to go over that. And then I'm just going to show some examples um, and we'll rock and roll and I'll hand, hand the baton back over to this. So uh, a little bit about me. I have my own little uh, um, nonprofit. And the reason I mentioned that is because I love to surf. I've already checked surf line. Uh, we've got a south swell coming in. 20 seconds at three feet is going to be awesome. My board's already packed up. The water to me is everything. Waves are everything, right? Um, the waves in the market, the waves out on the ocean, and the waves of life right and when i talk about waves of life <laughs> i am as was said uh blessed and, and grateful enough to be part of the cast of no fallen heroes it's like every time i talk to wiz i thank him because um it was without a doubt the most spiritual powerful uh gift uh, that i was given that i gave myself and others uh men and women gave me and so for everyone who was involved in the project or will be involved in the project thank you it was amazing um, man, and Wiz is exactly right. I started my morning out with meditation. Um, but as far as the markets go, I've, I've spent some time um, as a CTA, by the way. I, I only pay attention to one fundamental announcement, and that's the crop report. That's coming out June 30th. Um, as we talk about the circle of life, that'll be really important. Our corns, our wheat, right? Soybeans, what's going on there, the softs. Um, so uh, as a chartered market technician, which I am, I was in charge of uh, training level three candidates and the CMTI, Chartered Market Technician Institute. Most of that uh, focused on Elliott Wave and some other stuff. And then uh, I actually had my own CTA and I was a spot FX trader, uh, 2007 to 2009 came. I was actually up. Um, I, I did go into my first drawdown, trying to go long the dollar versus the yen five times uh, down in the 70s. Uh, so my mindset wasn't right. Um, and um, I'm a blogger. Uh, in fact, I think that's how Wiz met me. Um, but I've got about 40,000 followers on stock puts and just love what I'm doing. I love what the market uh, has taught me. And um, honestly, I ended up with Wiz. We were cruising back from Mexico and I just kind of looked at him and said, hey, you know, I do charting stuff. And he kind of went, okay. And I kind of looked at my stuff and says, come on, dude, let's do this. So yeah, uh, Wiz and I are two top 10 graduates. What's even crazier is that a Hornet and a top 10 guy are actually working together. So um, folks, there is... If we're working together as a as a Tomcat Rio too, I'm I'm Wiz's first equal equal opportunity hire. Um, there's hope for us all, right, Wiz? So anyway, um, that's a little bit about me. So um, here are the fundamental truths, folks. It's Mark Douglas trading in the zone, and just take a quick look at them. The big thing is anything can happen, and what you try to do is manage the risk, right? And all it's all probability. And it took me years to understand this, folks. And it's so applicable to flying, right? I mean, the bottom line is before that ladder comes down and you jump up into that ladder, you got to ask yourself, have I done everything to manage the risk of this flight? If I have, shoot me, let's go, right? Let's get off the, the flight deck. Same thing with trading. Same thing with investing. Have I done everything I can do to manage risk as I deploy capital? Because as soon as I deploy capital, it's over, right? I literally, you know, like years ago was like blowing, please go up, you know, I mean, it's over. Once you've deployed capital, 
the only thing you can control is how much you lose, right? We have no idea where this is going and whether we're right. So we need to develop an edge. Once you define your edge, you've got to trust it, right? And again, it took me years to understand probability and then understand my edge and trust it. So what is my edge? Folks, my edge is not business school. It's this book. <laughs> so if, if you're interested in looking at the way I trade from a harmonics and a patterns perspective, you got to start with this book because it's about $14. You probably get the uh, online version for free on some Adobe. But um, if you get this book and you can't put it down and it resonates with you, then you'll probably like what I'm doing. If you open it up and you're like, I do not like this. I just saved you probably tens of thousands of dollars in losses, tens of thousands of dollars in courses and studying. I've saved you a lot of money. Don't do it. But if you see it in your eyes and you feel it, this is probably for you. And then when you roll this book, you roll into, and everyone's laughing. I know Wiz is laughing right now. I wish you could see him on camera. Um, all the math, all the numerology, all the geometry, all the astronomy, everything is in the Great Pyramids, folks. And <laughs> my, my weekend in Mexico and after has um, been intuitively enlightening. I'll just leave it to you about that. And it's all about that structure. So when what you're about to do this journey with me, um, it's all probability, but what I try to do is manage that risk, manage that probability using patterns based on sacred geometry and music. So where are, where are we? Okay, this is the world according to BART. Um, this is not a CNBC talking expert that was said with a little bit of, um, you know, laughter, um, but this is just where I think we are. And um, we're right here, folks. The party hadn't even started. Um, it's not good. And um, this is where we are. Uh, where do I think we're going? Well, um, I hope that I'm awake. <laughs> but I can tell you, this one, it, it's going to leave a pretty bad hangover, folks. Um, and, it, and, and just think, as you try to set your mindset in your portfolio, take me as a grain of salt, right? Go and, go and get a bunch of data points. What I'm going to show you is a, a pretty bearish outlook on the equities. But in the context of the circle of life, there's tremendous opportunities, right? But from an equities perspective, when this thing's all said and done, man, this is going to be a hangover. 2007, 2009, that was maybe two or three shots of tequila. What's coming is going to be double digit shots. It, it's, it's not good. And um, so just hang on. How, so what can we do? Well, um, we can manage risk, right? And we can understand where the pivots are uh, going to happen and then, you know, play, play it accordingly. So how did we get here? So what I did last night is um, I actually went back to the high in 2020 and I started to build a story of how we got here. Number one, to show our techniques that they can work. Uh, but number two, just kind of give you an idea of the flow. Um, I'm going to run out of time. So I stopped it. So if everyone can get in their time capsule. I'm in mind. Everyone close your eyes. Whoop. All right, go back to you know the bottom, the low, the 2020. Okay, open your door. We're now there. Um, I had to start it here just for time's sake. If you go uh, on our um, arch charts, is what I, where I used to blog, um, and search for New York Stock Exchange Index, you'll see the highs and, and the machinations and everything that's going on. Okay, so what we do here, and what we again, Wiz likes to say, it's osmosis. Show up, do the work, keep doing it over and over. Muscle memory is I always start on long term monthly charts right and you can tell right here and uh, monthly long-term charts and this is the new york stock exchange index i try to label it here right and why the new york stock exchange index why because it's it's the largest index it's not tradable right but it's five thousand plus it, it encompasses everything so when i look at the overall health of the market this is what i look at the dow it's only 30 right S&P, it's 500. This New York Stock Exchange Index has 10 times more names in it, right? So for me, this is a big barometer. Took a swig of my coffee, by the way. I am not a paid sponsor, but ghee butter. Mm, ghee butter, so good in your coffee, okay? So what we have here 
we have this long term monthly, right? And long term monthly, and we also use measured moves. So here's the measured move, here's the measured move right on the 382 and the trend lines. This was a high probability trade. And as we know, off we went. There it is right here. Off we went up to new highs. As we look at it, we can see we're finishing five waves. Here's the NASDAQ. I'm just throwing in other things, right? Most, if not all, of the major indices that we track were coming up to huge what? Sell patterns, right? Now, I was kind of bummed. Here was the target zone, right? I, I say this thesis is a big top because it could be a three or five, but it's pretty big. So we're going to be correcting for a while, is where I'm going with it. Once the machinations of the corrections kind of really play themselves out, then I can feel confident labeling this. But for now, big top. Okay, this is the NASDAQ composite, and this is a daily. And as you can see, I labeled this wave one down, wave two up. We're machinating through what I believe is a wave three down, which as Wiz talked about, once this little relief rally is over, it's gonna be a smash fest, folks. And that's the equity, but we'll get into that a little bit more, right? When we look at the New York Stock Exchange Index, again, just trying to show you the techniques. Don't, don't get worried about all the, you know, lines and everything going on. But again, we've got this five wave count coming into some pretty powerful targets. And um, these dashed red lines again uh, were our target zone, uh, missed it by a little bit, but ultimately uh, off we went and down we go. Again, all this, all these major pivots are occurring out here on the monthly chart, folks, right? So here's our monthly um, key trend lines, right? And, and these are the basics of technical analysis, right? Polarity. Resistance becomes support, support becomes resistance. Here's from the all time low back 50, almost 48 years ago. And you can see that this resistance sign was huge. So it should be support, right? As polarity principle comes into play. And as you can see, that wick right here, it did. But look what's happened of, of late, right? Right now, again, this is a monthly chart. We have not finished the month, we've got about a week left. We get a monthly close below this trend line that's going to give us a higher probability that our count's correct so as you can see as i am posting things into the um, zone five master chart database tgo members should have an idea between wiz's way he approaches the market and then the way i approach the market we both when we both synergize it's a pretty powerful combination for tgo members it's been we are in a bearish mindset right we are not looking to buy this market yet. That could be a year from now. I mean, folks, that's what we're looking at, right? But let's let's at least be on the right side of the market. If you take the ideas for investing that I present, great, right? But at least you have an idea. If you don't, that's your that's your prerogative. Same thing with WIDs, right? But ultimately, we've been seeing this move coming for a while. And, and I feel pretty, you know, pretty safe to say that we've been in front of this move. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm still in this uh, mindset, and uh, right now there's nothing telling me that this mindset's wrong. So, so that's how we got here, and that's where we're going. And um, I want to let you know, from an equities perspective, on the good bad scale or good other scale, we're probably going to make it another. All right. So equities got a way to go. So, so what do we do? Um, well, I'm not even there yet. I'm sorry. So. Um, Again, here's our New York Stock Exchange Index. Here's the thesis, right? And now I'm down here on an hourly chart, okay? And we just follow the, the big reds are the primary waves, one down two. And then you can see what we're saying here is the bottom line is wave three is subdivided, okay? Now, this latest sell-off, well, it was Elliott wave pattern. So I also do quarterly training, which we can teach you. Um, and this is what we like to call a zigzag. It's an A wave up. And then a one, two, three, four, five wave um, up in a C wave, right? And you can see as we were looking at this that we needed one more move up, one, two, three, four. So we, we alerted people. And then what happens is these corrections, folks, like was already mentioned, there's nothing new under the sun, right? So this triangle, all I did was copy paste this triangle. So here's your time component, or excuse me, yeah, your time. Here's your price. And then all of this math, again, that we'll show you all comes together right along this measured move next move should be down and it was almost exact i think it was exact and down we went and this is pretty much as of yesterday we're just banging around here okay so 
you can see that we're, we've been on top of this um, and it's time to pause here because this is where I think we are, okay? New York Stock Exchange Index, index excuse me, thesis is this big top. This is a daily chart, one, two, all these other minor waves, all I'm saying is we're still moving and shaking to a wave three, okay? And uh, wave threes are the most powerful. So unfortunately, what I what I think, trade what you see, not what you think, so take this with a grain of salt, is this is our first wave down. I, I, I really do think this is an ABC move coming up. We got a little bit higher up here, and then it's time to short. But I haven't updated the charts because there's nothing here yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. But from an equities perspective, folks, yeah, uh, I, I'm still keeping the bearish mindset. So what do we do? Well, I like to call it the circle of life. Um, this is our most recent retreat we did in September, and you can see we're in a circle, right? Thinking man's game. Um, so with regards to the circle of life, right, uh, everything, everything moves inside the circle. Well, what, what does this have to do with the markets? Well, here's our circle of life. There's four components to it right? There's fixed income, which is our bonds, right? As bond prices go up, interest rates go down. As bond prices go down, interest rates go up. There's the foreign currency market. Um, big, big chart coming with that. So let me, let me give you an idea of the foreign currency market. Every stock, commodities, um, ETFs, mutual funds, every exchange in the globe would have to operate continuously for 90 days, be better, hold on, to equal one day of liquidity in the foreign exchange market. So folks, it's huge, huge. The foreign currency markets trump pretty much everything. Trump, sorry if you're a supporter or not, I'm using it as a, a word, a verb. Um, it trumps everything. So you've got to be aware of what's going on in the foreign currency market, okay? Those currencies go up and down. So there's bullish moves and bearish moves all the time. If you're just in the E-Trade environment, um, there's currency ETFs all over the place. Wiz has been very clear on, on warning about ETFs. I will make that same uh, statement. Um, and that same statement is you make sure that the financial institution underlying that ETF is on a sound financial basis, right? Um, that That's the risk there. Other than that, um, they move a little bit slower, but you can get leveraged ETFs. Um, there, there's multiple things you can do. What I'm trying to tell you is this circle of life, if you're just in E-Trade, is available to you through ETFs. So there's currency ETFs, and you can get some good moves that way, right? Um, good moves from the perspective of moves up or moves down. The commodities, right? I call them the softs and the hard. What I mean by that is the, the metals, and then kind of the grains, the wheats, the softs, the orange juice, everything like that pretty obvious that that's a bull market, right? The metals, I, I'm looking for one more wave down, but again, I'm long uh, the ETF DBA, uh, and I'm also long uh, ETF UNG for natural gas. Five waves have completed, expected the moves against me. I'm staying with those. I'm staying with those for years, and, and that's what's coming, right? So there's a bull market. And then obviously we got the equities. And so when you start looking at the market, and you start looking at the waves of the market, you start understanding the cycles of the market, the money's moving between those four components. The circle of life is fixed income, foreign currencies, commodities, and equities, okay? So as equities as a whole are starting on the way down, well, what's going up? Interest rates are going up, right? So fixed income, TBT, I'm long TBT. I've been long TBT, and, and with this pullback that I think is coming, which I'll show you, I'll look to add my position. And oh, by the way, I'm looking to hold TBT for years, right? Uh, Wiz and I are a little bit different. Um, I'm I'm not in the machinations of the day-to-day. -day. I'm a more long-term positional uh, investor, uh, looking to hold um, positions months to years. Um, Wiz and I were trading uh, emails back and forth like, uh, I went Bitcoin, I went long Bitcoin in the 6,000s, uh, and I got uh, out in the 60s. Why did I get out in the 60s? Because I had a three drives to a top, right? Uh, I didn't know. And then I actually closed my Coinbase account and I got out for other reasons. Um, so, but that that investment was, I think, 10 months long. So I'm looking for longer term pivots, right? Um, but they're usually the big inflections and stuff happen around it. So the circle of life, folks, 
just don't hone in on the equities, right? If you have a feeling, right, the battery powers are going to be bad, there's probably an ETF for you. That's where I'm going for, it, right? And so keep in mind this whole balance of the circle of life. And that's what we're going to go through now, okay? So the first thing I want to talk about is um, bonds. So let's get uh, oriented here. We've got the, um, I'm going to use a pen. Uh, we've got the long bond continuous futures, which means this is a futures contract, but it's strung together all the, the months, okay? And we're on a monthly. And the big thing is we're on a log scale, right? You can tell we're on a log scale, again, by looking over here at the price, all right? So first things first, right? Back here, 40 years ago, we were at 18.45% on our interest rates for the mortgage. Yeah, that was the low. Yeah, here, you know, I'm counting this five waves. Obviously, thesis is this is a huge top. And the big thing I want us all to realize here is I'm counting this as the first wave down, okay? And if we just simply connect that trend line, low to low, you can see that we have found support. TBT has started to sell off. TLT's probably gone up, right? And this could be a pretty big bounce. Why is that a big deal? Because nobody's thinking that the Fed's pausing. I'm certainly not, right? But again, trade what you see. I see a pretty clear one, two, three, triangle, four, five waves down in bonds. So I see a relief rally and a pop. Where could it possibly go? Well, we're just using polarity again, folks, right? Here is support, 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 becomes resistance, and then we start back down again. Now, to give us an idea of where we could possibly see interest rates going, well, folks, the market likes to move in five ways, right? One, two, three, four, five. We are here. <laughs> so, a little bit of relief rally if you're looking to do some mortgage uh, refinancing one last time, anything like that, you might have a little bit of time to do that. Um, I can't see this bounce being that big in the current environment we're in, but the bottom line, the charts are telling us wave one down is complete. Wave one up in interest rates is complete. There should be a pullback or a pause in the interest rates uh, in the coming, I'd say probably a couple, two to three, maybe even a month, but we're going to look at that. Okay. But then unfortunately we will start back down in a wave three, which is the strongest wave. So we're going to go to, uh, there we go. Uh, all right. Boy, I just blew it up, didn't I? We're going to go to the, um, the next slide. And you're going to see 10 year interest rate. One, two, three. We'll go ahead and do it. One, two, three, four, five. Here's where we are. Now, here's this whole polarity again, right? Here was the high in interest rates in the 10 year. I think it's right at about 16%. Monthly log, tell by the price, right? And we do our trend line. Resistance. Resistance, big resistance, broke through it, it should become what? Support and off we go. Folks, that's not that big of a correction. After a 780% increase in interest rates. Interesting, huh? So we're really gonna have to watch this one, especially because I wanna open up uh, TBT a little bit more and add to my position. But basically, we just got a little bit. This is a 40 year trend line. Remember the last trend line we showed in the New York Stock Exchange Index? I'm hoping for a little bit of bounce, but I'd like it to get a little bit lower just because this is a huge run. So what does that mean? It means interest rates are actually going down in the coming weeks. I know it sounds crazy, but what do we want to do? What's our mindset? Our mindset is, I believe, again, trade what you see. I'm trying not to buy into the fundamentals. I believe that this is a new bull market in interest rates. I believe that this is the low in our lifetime in interest rates and that after completing a five wave sequence, we should have a pullback in interest rates, which we want to be around to buy interest rates, to go long rates, short bonds. 
could be the trade of our lifetime, folks. I am hawking that one really, really closely. So, duh, that interest rates are going up. Probably not a duh that you're hearing it from top 10 options that interest rates should pause or go down in the coming weeks. I'm going to give it about a two week correction, but we'll see. I'm going to be monitoring really closely. So, again, remember fixed income, FX, commodities, and equities, right? Our circle of life. So, what do we have here? We have a new bull market and in interest rates going up. We have an ETF that we can take advantage of that bull market called TBT. And right now we're expecting that to go up and pause, come down and add to our position for the strongest move. Here we go, circle of life. Well, what about FX? Holy smokes, this one surprised me. Honestly, it surprised me. I'm like, what the heck? So this is dollar index. I actually wrote since 1985. Um, it actually goes back a little bit more, but the bottom line is no one really realizes, but this was actually the high in the dollar index way back in the day, 164. Wow, right? Um, and through all the different machinations and everything like that, we had finished a fifth wave. I just wish I had more data, okay? So from the all-time high, to the all-time low. The 0.382 retracements, which are usually massive resistance in the dollar, is just a little bit higher. I, in my mind, I thought it was up here, folks. So I was getting ready for our, our brief today, and I was like, ah, I'm gonna take a look at the long-term dollar index. And all of a sudden I was like, holy smokes, it's really close. So again, big deal for the dollar, huge deal for the dollar. And where I'm going with it is, again, remember these measured moves. Here's just a measured move from here to here, copy, paste. Okay, so if we get through this 106, this handle, dollar can come up to 110, but man, we've got some huge headwinds for the US dollar. This is a pattern that we teach called a butterfly. This is a butterfly sell. So a butterfly sell into 0.382 from the all-time high, wow. That's some pretty significant resistance. Um, I actually nibbled going long the euro, believe it or not. I actually went long the euro the day that they raised interest rates in the dollar. Why? Because it was just a pattern. It was just a pattern. And just, just so you know, folks, too, I, I, I really, maybe 10% of the time I read some of the fundamentals. I don't. I don't read the Wall Street Journal. I don't listen to the talking head pundits. I follow one individual, Martin Armstrong, the Martin Armstrong Economics. Um, I used to get the L8 Wave Global Watch. Um, I might do it again just because it gives an idea of everything going on. But um, I'm pretty much just honed in on price and time. So um, sometimes when you see a pattern appear, you inherently become contrarian uh, because you're seeing the pattern in the, you're seeing a sell pattern in the midst of this huge market rally, or you're seeing a buy pattern in this huge market sell off. But you got to do it, right? So being a pattern recognition, and using these leading indicators, you, you find yourself being pretty contrarian, quite frankly. And I don't want to be. I just try to train my mind, trade what you see, right? So I'm seeing massive resistance on the dollar, um, which is a big deal because uh, we've been talking a lot about the yen over in lifetime. I'm actually long the dollar versus the yen. So I have to rethink that. I could be totally on the wrong side of that. Um, and then you could be long the euro or you could be long the great British pound. So keep an eye on that level, uh, 106, it's about 106.60 to 110, which are pretty big. Quite frankly, folks, I'm expecting the 382 to work. Um, so over the next couple of days, interest rates are going down, dollars weakening, right? Oh, wow, that makes sense. But what we got to figure out is where's this dollar going to go, okay? So again, now we're on that circle of life form currencies, expecting the dollar to be weak for a while. For a couple months, perhaps, um, we'll have to wait and see, right? But if you're looking to play it, then you might look for a long euro, long pound. If you're into the fundamentals, go and look and see which currencies are the stronger, strongest, right? Could it be the Aussie, uh, it could be the Kiwi. Um, there's multiple ways to play that. But again, circle of life, dollar's been through the roof. I see it finishing five waves. I see it banging into that three to two. And then it's going to get really interesting for the dollar. All right. What about equities in general? Like where where are we? 
So this is a, a, a chart of the global Dow. So log scale, here's, here's how you tell the time. Okay, there's our global Dow. You see how the prices aren't equally spaced? That's the biggest tip off that you're on a log scale. Okay, and then we just start. Um, the global Dow like started back over here in 2000. So it obviously went boom, boom, boom down into it. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sure looks like we finished five waves, right? This is globally, okay? Uh, and then look, we're just using what project, extend, retrace the structure. Here's our measured move of time. Here's our measured move of time. Up we go into our target zone, right? After five waves, what do we expect? We expect the wave down, right? What happened? Well, here's the target zone. And what's funny is I'm like, dang it, I shouldn't have missed that. Well, guess what I never did? <laughs> I never did measured moves. So you can see now we're on a, a regular, right? A normal price scale. And here's the move, copy, paste. Here's the move, <laughs> copy, paste. That's the move that did it. Oh, what the heck, Mark? I can't believe I missed that, but I did, okay? But as you can see, one, two, three, four, long extended wave five now well i've trained with connie brown she's brilliant she's an expert um she's amazing and um quite frankly she told me don't ever count waves again bart i'm like crap okay but i'm doing it so i didn't pay attention to her i probably should have but um she talks about three things when it comes to form the la wave form proportion and balance right so if i go back and i take a look at this count here, there, there is something off from the perspective of the balance. See how quickly this wave three took off and then this went for so long. So right now this counts working, but I, I could basically, I could make a case for one, two, three, but what we can, what we know is we can't go below here and we're kind of getting it. All I'm saying is this long time for this to complete isn't necessarily balancing out this. So I'm a little suspect of my count, but right now that count's working and that count is saying we're right there, okay? So what do these mean? What I did was from this low, I just simply added, you know, how much more could we go? Well, there's 30%, there's 40%. We could go another 30, 40% down before we start thinking, okay, let's buy or not. And why do I say this? Well, from a guideline of Elliott, right? The market likes to correct after a five wave sequence to the, the vicinity of the ending of wave four. And that's right here of a lesser degree. So that's telling us realistically, we got another 30 to 40% to the downside folks. Not necessarily what we wanted to hear, but yeah, kind of a bummer, right? Okay. So are there any questions so far? Um, Wow, Pam, thank you. Row versus ways overturn. Holy smokes. That's much more important than our brief. Um, oil stocks. Lori, I, I'm bullish to oil stocks. I think uh, we um, we had a pullback uh, in oil, which, oh, by the way, we nailed. Measured moves. It, it worked. Um, and um, so I'm actually I got a text from Ponch looking at Chevron. And as I say, too early, right? So um, right now, just need to make it happen. Frank. Paid 17%. God bless you. Um, Kathy, the date of the huge stop, I don't know it off the top of my head. Uh, Tom, effect on TLT is TLT is start to rally, right? Um, TLT is your bond prices, 20 years or more. Uh, and TBT is an inverse to that. So if you think interest rates are going up, you buy TBT, you short TLT. If you think interest rates are going down, short TBT, buy TLT, okay? Uh, yeah, Gee Butter Bob. I love it. So you got some, Bob. Yeah, I'm waiting too. Uh, I want to add to that position. Um, yeah, Tom, I'm holding. And, and again, uh, natural gas is a big deal right now, obviously. So just Google ETF for natural gas. It's called UNG. By the way, it's, it's getting it's a pullback right now. Uh, and Delta Bravo Alpha, DBA. And that's a, a kind of like a agricultural ETF. I, I think we have a new bull market in the corns and the wheats. 
if we're not feeling it at the pump, obviously we are. Um, but Charles, yeah, I I can do that. Um, it's really it's the same as everything else. You just need to understand pips and leverage. Ooh, leverage, leverage good, leverage bad. I got addicted to thinking how good the leverage was until I I didn't. <laughs> yeah, uh, but sure. Um, if you want the, the options, they're good. Um, <laughs> FX. Boy, um, it's crap, and um, especially spot FX. You can get on the right side, man. You can ride that train, but having been kicked off the train a couple times in the FX world, boy, it can get ugly. So, um, but sure, yeah, we we can do all that. It's uh, it's not a problem. All right, so let's go take a look at the metaverse, right? Um, what do we do? Um, how do we look at this, folks? This one appears to be working right now. Foot stomper, they all don't. It's all probability, right? But I just want to show you the thought process that we went into with uh, Metaverse. So just, just, just so you know, um, if you're part of the Zone 5 um, member content, you log in, Zone 5 master charts, and um, I'll update 20 or so charts. Um, the ETFs that we're looking at, other right. So this is kind of like where I'll I'll put stuff, and then if it's really important, I'll send out an email or a text. But um, just because you know it's been eight days, it means there's nothing really there, right? Um, I updated Meta two days ago as we're getting getting ready to rock and roll. So we'll go down here and um, we'll just walk through Meta, and so you can get an understanding of how to use the charts, how we look at the charts, and boy, there's Wiz looking good, brother um and how we can um how we can potentially profit off right or manage risk right so boom meta ban it's uh it's getting killed right here's that massive daily gap that we have right um it, it's not it's not having fun at all and so what did we do right well first off i actually made a mistake on this back in the day um because Normal drawing that. There we go. Um, because uh, I I forgot. I forgot about over here. But the bottom line is this is the largest percentage corrective move. Here's the largest percentage corrective move. And then we start doing our retracements, our extensions, and our projections. And the bottom line is back in March, right? Back in March, we ID this level. So here it is, March 7th. Quite the bloodletting with Facebook, strong target in around 155, 157, right? And there it is. So this is the long-term log scale. Again, we're just using trend lines, folks. This happens all the time. This is the long-term trend line from the all-time low. Log scale, foot stomper. And then remember, we, we talk about it in our training videos. When you start to draw trend lines, we always just draw them like this. Start to think like a dog and start drawing, right? And what you'll find is you'll find these nice little what? Price and time intersections. And um, you'll see that's exactly where it went. And it's on doing, right? And so we'll just draw, draw a little bit about, you know, hey, here's what's going on. And then, okay, here we go, right? So we get a little bit of a rally. All right. And then all we're doing is projecting, extending, retracing, and looking for structure. So Here's these moves, okay? This move up was actually two times, but here's the same corrective move with the same what time? Same corrective move with what? Same time, same corrective move, time, right? Here's our big target zone. So it's the short it down into that. So what are we doing? Managing risk, right? Again, now, now in April, we're, we're still two months, two months out. April, wow, look at that, we got five waves, okay. Still the big levels here, right? By the way, that was the crossing of the two trend lines right there. Can you guys see how we're just trying to build a case for entry? So now that we have this, I go down to an hourly, 
And I'm like, well, look at that. A, B, C, D, where? Into our target zone. That's a new development. Okay, starting to like it even more. Now here's where it gets really, really interesting. And I'll start it up here at the top. Uh, actually, weekly, monthly. So this is when I started getting really interested, in, right? So here's our monthly. Here's our level, right? It's a pretty big monthly candle too. But here's a monthly of meta, log scale, and then it's like, wow. The RSI, it's the lowest it's ever been. Interesting. Okay. So what we teach is always start monthly. Then you go down to a weekly. Then you go down to a daily. Then you go down to a four hour. Then you go down to an hourly. And what do we have on the weekly log? Well, we have some pretty nice bullish divergence. I like it. And then looking at the weekly, what I saw was this little low right here. And I did an extension off. One, two, seven. Boy, look at all this map. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five reasons. Let's go back to the monthly, the lowest RSI. I'll add that six reasons, right? Okay, getting interesting. So now what do we do? We work ourselves down to a daily time frame. And then all of a sudden, well, look at that. Here is a three drives to a bottom. Bam. Drive one. Drive two, drive three, bullish divergence on the daily. This is getting interesting, right? We're adding the three drives, we're adding bullish divergence. So now I think we're up to eight reasons to look at this level. So now that we are on a daily, what do we do? We went to the two hour. Here's that three drives to the bottom in the green that we we're talking. Holy smokes, here's another buy pattern. This is called the blue. This is called a butterfly buy. And here's our A, B, C, D into where? Our buy zone. Holy smokes, I'll re up to 10. <laughs> and again, folks, here's all I'm trying to do. We ID a level and then we work as the market's moving towards it. Just because we ID the level on Facebook, it never needed to get there, right? There was no reason. It, doesn't need to get there. And so unless there's a pattern that allows me to get short to get down to there, I'll wait. My DBA position, I scouted for two years before I went long DBA, right? So it doesn't ever have to get there. Don't think, oh, this is a no-brainer just because we came up with a great level. It could have stopped right here and taken off, okay? So just want, these are not exact, but when they get there, they allow us to do what? They allow us to manage risk. I always tell people this, they say, Bart, how often are you right? I'm like 100% of the time. You can't be right 100% of the time. I'm like, yeah, I can't. I'm right 100% of the time because I know exactly where I'm wrong. And so with Lifetime email I put out, I'm like, 152 or less, it's failed. I'm not wrong. The pattern failed. See the mindset, right? We're trading patterns here. We're not failing at anything. We fail if we don't enter at the pattern. And then we also fail if we're like, this thing needs to stop at that level. And if it gets below 152, it's wrong. It failed, take the loss. It's all probability, right? But what we're trying to do here is I call them nested patterns. So all of these nested patterns are showing up. Again, adding what? Just adding probability that this might work. I don't know, right? So there we go, right? So you see, we worked all the way, all the way, all the way. So then just to make it even funner, the day that we hit our low, what do we have on a five minute chart? Remember, we started all the way out to the monthly. We worked our way down. We have another three drives to a bottom. There's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three, right in our buy zone. And look at the time of that last drive, right? See this time component? The low was made right on that time and off we went. One more chart. And there we go. And here was the uh, area that we've been watching since March. It's incredible. It's crazy that it works, right? And then stop out below here. 
because we have no idea. And so all the way down here on this five minute chart, folks, here's that 60% correction. And again, okay, someone's going, oh, it's not exact. Sorry, it's slippage, right? Close enough, but there it is, right? And here was the low. And so we know we have a line in the sand. Do I think ultimately 152 will get blown away? Sure, right? The, the, the gap is like 60 points or something. But for now, everything was pointing to buying meta, right? And we found a level that appears to have worked. That's all it is, right? So now, you know, what, what could it be? Where is meta? I don't even know right now. Um, let's take a quick click and then I'll go back to my chart. So here's Meta right now. Oh, well, that one certainly seems to have worked out. I had no idea. Um, well, there's Meta right now. So the exact level, it's up, it's up 15 bucks. I have no idea why. I have no expectations. But wow, okay. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, so back, um, gosh, I that at all see you never know you really don't so there was a, a quick run through of, of, of kind of how we do it folks um and um you know that's really all she wrote so Liz I'm gonna hand it back to you my brother but uh I want to thank you here's clown show one and clown show two um I saw this. This is actually the, the finger of God. If you look at it, actually, Wiz is God. By the way, he's a single seat corner pilot. So I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm speaking truth here. Uh, and I'm just a mere human in the midst of him. But uh, this was in our restaurant before we went and did the medicine. And um, the God that you think you're looking at in the painting is actually a, um, a overlay of, of the human brain. Pretty amazing stuff, right? Um, <laughs> it's pretty pretty trippy and um you know if you're gonna step up swing the bat this is for you sledge and everyone else if you know you know swing it let it rip right but set your intention for great life uh wiz and i we're just here to help you manage risk uh we are so thankful for your time coming and um wiz your lead thanks brother i'm out I got the lead. Uh, well done, everybody. Virtual uh, golf clap for uh, Bart, folks. Just what a, I'm telling you, man, every time uh, I attend his brief, uh, I either get dumber or smarter. I'm still trying to figure it out. Tom, Meta running today. Great call on the levels and base. Bart making money. Uh, Patrick, I love the info you deliver, Bart. Zone 5 charts and your trainings deliver a depth of information you can't get anywhere else. Thank you for all the hard Let me just show you these uh because i like i grab these live and then they become case studies because i steal them um okay guys so like i said uh i showed up this morning because usually um i am not here because i'm getting ready for my podcast at noon the max afterburner podcast uh and watching meta right now because i have a bear call spread on um but this is this is a no-brainer at this point right this is why i wanted you to come uh, if you don't know about Bart or Tomcat charts, because once you, you meet Bart, you, you stay. So this is, Kathy, thanks so much for dumbing it down. Exactly. I'm a political science guy from South Jersey, and if I can uh, understand this, then most of you can as well. 30-day uh, test flight. Stupid cheap, 60% discount. And as I was sitting here listening to Bart, I actually did the math, and I did that wrong. Why? Because I'm going to tell you. And again, my marketing folks call this an irresistible officer. I call it a money loser, but not because you're going to stay after 30 days. What do you get for the next 30 days? It's 87 bucks, folks. Taking my beautiful bride out to dinner tonight down in, no, I think we're going, not down, up, up in Palm Beach. I guarantee you uh, a, 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 a bottle of wine is going to be 87 bucks for 30 days. John, my first Tomcat brief. Excellent intel. Awesome. Lori, hey, Bart, you are awesome. Seen your training and need to watch again because heavy stuff. Awesome, Larry. All right, 87 bucks, 60%. Here's what you're going to get for the next 30 days. 30 days. Um, access to Bart's Tomcat chart service, which is 
this every Friday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern. You're going to get Bart live. Get to ask him questions in here, interact, all that stuff. He's going to breach you on your stuff. That's usually 147 for a month. What do you also get for the next 30 days for 87 bucks? You get zone five. What's zone five? When the left hand goes all the way out into zone five and the Tomcat afterburners go up to max. Holy shit. I've sat behind uh, Bart like in his Tomcat, even with the jet blast deflector up, right? You saw in Maverick, right? You know, the jet taxis onto the catapult and the JBD comes up, jet blast deflector. I've been behind that thing. As a Tomcat's gone in a full afterburner, I've been feet away from that. And of course, my tinnitus is not service related. It'll change your heartbeat. The fire, the energy, it's insanity sitting behind a Tomcat in zone five. Trust me. That is $2.95 a month. Okay? And then what do you also get access to? What was it? A couple weeks ago, last month? Last month, Bart did his first quarterly. Tomcat charts training. Okay, so Tomcat guy, Hornet guy, we demo do. We were both instructors. We're going to demonstrate something to you, then you do. He did six sessions at night. You can go watch them. They're replays. They're current because he just did them recently. We charge $197 per quarter to do that. So, respectful truth over artificial harmony. If you don't see that getting all of that for the next 30 days for 87 bucks is a good trade, I need you to leave right now. And I'm not kidding because you're an awful trader. Does that not make sense to you? You total all that shit up, man, with six, five, 600 bucks, 87 bucks. Why? Because I know you're going to stay and you're going to make money. So, um, <laughs> Brew, thanks, Wiz. SPX trades yesterday just paid for a third of my new AC getting installed today. You're welcome, uh, Bruce. So, folks, again, Irresistible Officer, let me give you the link. It's topgunoptions.com slash TC. What's that stand for? Tomcat. Trial. And I'm not joking. If you don't understand that this is probably the best trade uh, you're going to see in the next 30 days, I don't want you on my mailing list. You just kind of need to leave. This is insane. This is a money loser. But why do you do it? because you're not going to leave after 30 days. And we're not, I'm not that guy. Bart's not got that guy. I actually just sent the email to my techie to load into the campaign. Three days before this is going to be over, you're going to get an email from me that says, hey, in three days, this is over. I'm not one of those sneaky rebuild guys. I'm the guy who says, hey, this is going to rebuild and it's going to rebuild at the normal rate, right? 147 or 297, whichever one you choose. At the end of 30 days, it's over with. You ain't continuing it at 87 bucks a month, no offense, because we don't like losing money. So this is the no-brainer. Topgunoptions.com slash TC Tomcat dash trial. Oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thanks, Wisdom Still South Jersey guy in flip-flops. Scotty, this is if I could do it, you can do it. You're also going to get access. Bart's building his own Tomcat Charts workbook. He's working on that, but for now. I'm going to give you access to our options workbooks. You know how much these things cost if you want to go buy them on our homepage? 197 bucks. Okay, Wiz, so I'm paying 87 bucks for 30 days and I get manuals that you, uh, you know, if I bought them, they're 197. Again, irresistible offer for the marketing team, losing money for me. But I know in 30 days, you're not going anywhere, okay? And I want to grab that SPX compliment because I like that. No, Thomas, you're the man. It is a steal at any price. David, it is. Uh, where do you go to order, Mike? It's right there, topkinoptions.com slash TC-trial. I, I put the link in the chat box here, didn't I? Yeah. Brent, that's what I just said. Every Friday morning at 10 a.m., you get to, it's a live trade brief. This is why we're in here right now. I love uh, doing what you're going to do after you become a member. Every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern, Bart does his live trade brief. So there you go. I'm going to grab that one too. So Brew, <clears throat> I just paid for a third of his brand new air conditioner with a couple trades this week. Brew AC. 
Uh, yes, you get access to all this stuff for 30 days for 87 bucks. It is a 30-day test flight. <clears throat> no worries, Brent. Yep, every every Friday at 10 a.m. is his live trade brief. So for the next 30 days, you get access to Tomcat charts, his Zone 5 charts database, and the training videos. Let me just go show you on the website where they are just in case. So as soon as you get airborne here, here's what you need to do this weekend, folks. Brent, signing up. Thanks, Wiz. You are welcome, my brother. Um, let's go. Here's what you're doing this weekend. Besides, well, you could do this and chill on the beach. Underneath member content, let me put close that box right there. Underneath member content, you got Tomcat charts, and that's where Bart was kind of driving around for most of the brief. What a great Facebook trade, dude. So underneath here, he's got all his, where he posts his uh, Tomcat uh, charts live trade briefs, right? And then over here, underneath member content, go to zone five master charts that's where he gets in here and updates all this stuff man apple amd amazon baba i'm not going to read these all get in it's it's magic folks also underneath member content here's where you it says tomcat charts training now when you guys join up if you just join up to to tomcat charts you're going to kind of see all this stuff on the menu i see all of it because i own the damn place so i have access to everything but underneath tomcat charts training look at this folks Module six, module five, one, two, look at this folks. Get in here and this is where you do the training. Do not come to Topkin Options and think you're gonna sit on the end of the dock with your mouth open and the fish are gonna jump in your mouth. We're gonna teach you how to fish and it ain't rocket surgery. This is not hard at all. Bart and I, Top Gun graduates, fighter guys off carriers and stuff like that, we're cavemen when it boils down to it. This is not difficult and barter and i'll tell you what we did kind of wasn't that difficult as well why because it's training repetition training muscle memory is the key to success when it comes to training and at the top of my powerpoint slide what does it say discipline and risk management equal superior execution we're going to teach you to be disciplined we're going to teach you to manage risk and we're going to and both of those things together results in superior execution. Okay, I got to go because I got to go shower, go to the podcast studio, knock out a good podcast here. I have no idea what I'm going to say or I'm going to talk about this week. Had a great two weeks ago, flew over to Texas, saw Marcus Luttrell. I was on his podcast, saw my brother JT, got a lot to cover on the podcast. Abortion, gun rights. It's interesting stuff, folks. No matter what you feel about either of these decisions, can't we all agree as Americans, like law shouldn't care about feelings. Law should be black and white. The, when feelings get involved in law, bad things happen. Worst case scenario, how about you guys decide? You mean the elected officials instead of nine unelected judges? Yeah. What is the horror in that? Thomas just signed up. Ram, are there any manuals or guides to accompany the Tomcat charts or training videos? So Ram, I just said all of that. And I'll say it again. What did I say? You get, when you join, you get these three manuals. You will be able to download them as soon as you buy. Once you buy, you go on the website. Underneath member content, it says Tomcat charts training. So you get training, you get Tomcat charts, live trade brief, and you get zone five, all of Bart's master uh, charts. So the answer is yes. Thomas just signed up. Steve, indeed, exactly. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. I went over by four minutes. I apologize. Bart's a great human being. He's a great father, husband, best friend. He's just a good soul. Trust Bart for the next uh, 30 days for 87 bucks. End of the 30 days, eh, didn't like it. Great. Go on your way. We'll salute and shake hands, man. We'll see you at the bar. Uh, other than that, I guarantee you, you're going to hang out, man. Uh, that, that's We're the Roach Motel. You check in, you don't check out. Why? Because it's good. I've been doing this for 12 years at Topkin Options. We have people who have been here since day one. Not that they didn't learn anything. They stay for the camaraderie, the trade ideas, the intel, the everything. Come for the freak, stay for the food. All right, guys, I'm going to get a replay posted shortly. When I get back from my podcast, I'll blast it out for the replay. Guy, after, good question. It should say it. Uh, uh, here, let me bring it up right here. 
after the 30 days. So you're going to get an email. We are not going to rebuild anything until you, you let us know what you want to do. Tomcat charts after that is 147 a month. Zone 5, which you get everything in Tomcat charts and all of his Zone 5 charts, is only 295 a month. And guess what, folks? The, the training is included if you do the Zone 5. Okay? So this will be absolutely clear to you. Three days before your credit card is supposed to be rebuilt, we're going to send you an email that says, hey, man, time for you to man or woman up. Either cancel, just reply to this email and say, nope, I'm good. Or I want Tomcat charts or Zone 5. Because it ain't rebuilding, guys, at 87 bucks. I guarantee you. Because we're losing money. And we don't like to do that. So there's what it rebuilds at. No secrets. No shady bullshit. Which is why I've been here for 12 years. Everybody understand me. I will re uh, refer to this recording in brief. If there's any, you never told us this. I did. You're getting an email and it's in this brief right now. It will rebuild at 147 if you want it to, 295 if you want it to. And the 197 quarterly training sessions are included with this one, obviously, because it's the more expensive one. Everybody understand, give me a vertical head nod. Good, brief complete. Uh, if you have any other questions, concerns, oh, by the ways, or smart remarks, keep the smart remarks to yourself. Questions, comments, you can send to Bart or I. Wiz, W H I Z at topkinoptions.com or Bart, I wonder what that one is, Bart at topkinoptions.com. Good stuff. I expect this rally to fade as the day goes on. I have two or three bearish trades. We'll see if we have a little mid-afternoon swan song into the close. Uh, all right, I got to get going. Have a great rest of your day. Happy hunting. Make sure you guys hedge. Fights on and namaste. I'll talk to you guys next week.